Do your lines look like the one on the left or the one on the right? Are they a bunch of short, hairy strokes, all sort of clumped together trying to pretend they're one big stroke? This is probably because you're gripping your pencil the wrong way. What was the first thing you remember being taught to do with a pencil? My guess is that it was to write your name when you were in grade school. In this video, I'm going to reintroduce you to the most basic drawing tool there is the number two pencil. We're introduced to pencils almost exclusively for writing, and that means that we learn to use them in one way, with a tight grip. And because letters are small and closely grouped, the way that you hold a pencil is designed to limit your range of motion. Well, drawing is the exact opposite. A good artist will have a range of mark making. Maybe they'll be doing some small and controlled strokes, but then also large swooping gestures. And for this, you'll need an unrestricted posture. In fact, one of the easiest ways to improve your confidence, to have better line work, is to do what's called drawing from the shoulder. So what does that mean, to draw from the shoulder? Well, it means that you'll be primarily bending your elbow and your shoulder, not your fingertips, and definitely not your wrist. This change might require you to rearrange your desk or to stand while you draw, but it's going to dramatically change the way that you're able to make marks. So when you're holding your pencil in this way, try using the side of the graphite to lay down some soft lines. And make sure that your pencil is dull to start with. The idea here is to make quick, fluid marks with the side of your pencil. Drawing with the tip of a sharpened pencil is like carving into the surface of the paper with a chisel. It's a very slow, methodical thing. You will do this sort of tight drawing in the future, but for now, the focus is on loose, gestural sketching using the side of your pencil. So let's talk about the pencil itself for a minute. First off, you'll notice that the end is labeled with sort of a rating. And what this refers to is the type of graphite that it contains. Now, what I like is the one right in the center, an HB. This is also known as a number two pencil in America. Now, if you had a 4B, what you'd have is a much darker lead. And this is going to be almost like charcoal, where it's a softer mark, it tends to smudge a little more, and it leaves sort of a darker dark. The other end of the spectrum, the H's, like a 6H, would be very hard graphite. So this can be sharpened very sharp, and it creates very delicate marks, very light line quality. So when I learned about this, I went out to the store and bought the whole range. I thought, well, I'm going to need them all. It turns out that was totally wrong. It was a big waste of money. Especially when you're just starting out, you really can do fine with one pencil. And I like to use an HB. Right in the center, it's got a fine range. It's good to know what the differences between them are, and your preference might be a 2B or something like that, but you really don't need all the pencils. And you'll probably notice that the average drawing pencil does not have an eraser. It's only painted wood at the end. Well, believe it or not, this can be a big relief to separate pencil from eraser. In fact, for tonight's homework, you're not going to be concerned with making the perfect mark. And precision is not important at all for the moment. As a result, you can't mess up, so you don't need an eraser. Your homework tonight is to fill five scrap papers with ovals. Any kind of paper will do, but it doesn't need to be nice. So you're going to be drawing from the shoulder. And once again, that means that your fingertips and wrists, they won't be bending at all. Your shoulder and elbow are going to be doing all the work. And the goal is to begin to feel what it's like to wield the pencil for loose sketching, not tight precision. And I know this might seem like doodling or boring and pointless, but remember, you've had years of experience holding the pencil for writing in a tight vice grip. It takes time to retrain your muscles and your brain for the new posture. You're not setting out to make the world's most beautiful, perfect ovals. 
All you're doing is getting a little pencil mileage. You're just taking the first step towards confident drawing. So turn on some good music and spend a while drawing ovals and draw from the shoulder. Thanks for watching and have fun with this.